welcome to an updated second generation Ford Raptor. This is the 2019 Ford Raptor to be specific, and even more specifically, this is a super cab. I prefer the full-size four-door Super Crew just because it's easier to fit people in the back seat, but I did fit people back there, including kiddo in the car seat, so it is possible. I just hate having to open one door to open the other door. You know, I just want to open the doors. And if you're buying a Raptor, do you really care about what you can put in the bed? Really? Because this is about dune smashing, desert running, trophy truck-esque production truck fun. And it's even better with the addition of Fox's live valve technology. That's really the big news here. They haven't changed the engine. They haven't, you know, swapped out, made some major running gear changes, but they have updated to a new Fox suspension system that is smarter than I am, really. It, it can think quicker. That is for damn sure. What this technology does on the suspension compression, it is constantly monitoring at every wheel to know exactly what's going on so it knows how much damping is required yeah. to keep things smooth and happy and smile fun time in the cab. It even knows if you're airborne and it'll set up for the full amount of damping force so that when you land, it's cushiony, it's soft, it is the Raptor that you know and have come to love made better. Now, interestingly, when you're out driving on the street, there's less nosedive, there's less body roll, so they've made the on-road manners actually a little bit nicer. At least it feels that way to me. One of the things I did love though about the first gen V8 Raptors besides the noise, you know, the noise is better, there's no question. One of the first things I loved was that it felt like a trophy truck or, you know, at least close to it. When you hit on the brakes, it was like, whoa, and there was lots of roll. And it's not great for on-road driving dynamics, but it made you laugh and it made you smile that this is a production truck and you're doing these sort of things. Most of that is dialed out, but for the better. This truck is now better because it is a better on-road driving experience. Off-road, it's better than ever too. And now there's better rock crawling modes for those of you who want to go slow on trails. Though this is not a tight trail truck. It is still a fairly large, massive, full-size truck. The front track is, it's intimidating. The fenders are intimidating. The daylight running lights are just like staring you down. Oh, make a move, bro. What are you going to do? I'm a raptor. I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking raptor. I can, I can do whatever I want. That's the raptor. And you can go anywhere and you can do lot as long again as long as the trail's not too narrow where it'd be better off being in a Jeep Wrangler. I love this truck. It's I do not need a Raptor. I would love to own a Raptor. Under the hood, it's the three and a half liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6. There's nothing eco about it. It's all about the boost. It's making 450 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque, and it is paired with a 10 speed automatic gearbox. Left on its own in normal mode, it's fine. I like it in sport mode personally. Uh, it holds shifts a little bit better. It, I mean, this truck is still fun. Uh, it holds shifts a little bit better. There are other modes. There's, you know, mud and ruts. There's a Baja mode because why not? This truck is battle proven in Baja and it wears its big beefy KO2 tires. It's got a big bash plate up front. It lets you know it means business. At night, the orange running lights in the grill look fantastic. It looks like you're transiting between off-road stages. It's just so much fun. Another thing that's new for 2019, they've added a bit of suede to the seats as I think it's an optional seat extra, just to hold you in a little bit better. The bolsters are fine, the seats are comfortable. Everything is good to go. Away from a Jeep. The hardest, the only thing that kills you about the Raptor is how goddamn expensive it is. But think of a truck that can do what this truck does. Think about how expensive trucks are right now. And it's, you know, the number, I don't want to say it makes sense because it is wildly expensive, but no other truck can do what the Raptor can do. The Ram Rebel cannot compete with the Raptor. The Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro cannot compete with the Raptor. It's just that the Raptor is the one to do Raptory things. This truck is just the sh I can't say that enough. It's so much fun. So here's the base price of a Raptor. This is the base price of a Raptor. This is the as tested price of the one I'm driving. And if I was able to get my hands on the Super Crew, the one I, pre I prefer, we're over 70 grand at that point. That is so much money for a truck. But think about what people spend on sports cars. This is like 
someone spending a ton of money on a Corvette. But this can do more than a Corvette because it's fast and it can go anywhere. Listen, I love sports cars. I review more cars than I review trucks. But hand me the keys to a Raptor and I'll take it over most sports cars any day, all day long. I love this stuff. I love taking my kid on a little bit of an off-road adventure, just meandering down a trail, blasting down the highway. I had to drive this thing earlier in the week to get from Orange County to San Diego, actually to go drive the Ranger, which you've already seen that video. I had this on the five freeway and I am just, they probably thought I was a Marine on leave from Camp Pendleton because I was mobbing down the highway in this thing. And you can do it comfortably. With that live valve suspension, it's always comfortable. Even off-road, especially on-road, it's ridiculous. This truck is ridiculous, and it's ridiculous in all the best ways. You don't even need to dip into four-wheel drive for the most part unless you're really doing some rugged shit. Um, this is all mild that I'm doing today. That's like the worst of it right there. This used to be a pretty fun trail, uh, but they've actually paved over a lot of it. This is the road to Holy Jim, if you know the area at all. And a lot of it is actually closed down farther up because of the fires from last year. I think they're hoping to open sometime in 2019. So I gotta find more off-road trails in my area, and I may have found a good one, which we'll do for future videos. But for now, I just wanted a place where the background looked adventurous, and there are spots to kick the tail out. Um, I need to find some jumps though, that's the key. If anybody listening knows where to find jumps in Orange County, hit me up. Jeff at Hooniverse.com, hit me up. Papa wants to go on some jumps. I, I forget that I said Papa, ignore that, that's embarrassing. See, like right here is where the trail ends. You used to be able to drive past this point. There's a little bridge there with water coming out. But all of this USDA Forest Service closed. It's burned watershed beyond this point. So that's where we turn around in the Raptor, we say goodbye to the trail, and maybe we shoot some exterior shots here so you can see what's going on. But yeah, this truck is just the best. I just wish it was more affordable. However, I know Ford says the Ranger Raptor isn't coming. They said the 2019 Ranger Raptor isn't coming. If they don't, it's a, that's a money printing machine. Ranger Raptor, cha-ching, boom, cha-ching, boom, cha-ching. There's no question that truck is coming. So if you want a more affordable adventurous package, keep an eye out for that one. But if you've got the cash to spend, buy this truck, cause it's the sh Mark is from a hat. I was wearing a hat. Welcome to a new Raptor. I forgot I had it in manual mode. Let's do it. Let's put it back. This is the 2019 Ford Raptor. Raptor. I love taking my kid on a little bit of an off-road adventure. Not that I'm doing that right now because I'm not going to put it on camera because that's ridiculous. Uh, I'm not a Kardashian. 